All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to look at Pindle. So this is actually the second time we've looked at Pindle. The last time we looked at it, we were looking here, and we were, or I was kind of pointing out that we really need to come down here and bounce. Uh, and you can see we did that. We didn't quite get down to the 236, but we did bounce, and we didn't want to get stuck here, which we did not. So we pulled back just a little bit, but we didn't pull back kind of like this because that would have created a double top here. If we would have gone any lower than that 21 day EMA there but we did get a nice bounce uh, we blasted right through this 40 got up here to the top at this 4236 at 50 got over that we were holding that as support uh, there is over four hours on the candle here so we could still uh, come back up here and hold this box and this 4236 as support at 50 so it remains to be seen this may turn into a wick here if this does turn into a wick and we hold the inside this box on top of this fib uh, it's extremely still bullish on Pendle for a push higher. So I did draw the box here. Uh, anywhere from 50 up to 60 cents is our price to beat. And then ultimately, if we get up here and get over, just by going from the macro chart on the three-day, if we get over about 68 cents, uh, there's nothing stopping Pendle from going back to its all-time high at this 380 range. Uh, so that is totally possible if you continue this bullish push upwards. So to get up over this box is about a 21% move and then get up here to about 68, 69 is about a 42% move. And then we need to get over that as support. And like I said, there's nothing stopping it from coming back up to its high. And you're looking at a massive over 600% move on Pendle here. Um, so that is entirely possible in my opinion. Uh, we'll just, it remains to be seen. But, you know, the top could get put in at any moment and this thing could just start falling off the table. So just be aware of that. So any of you guys out there that are invested in this thing, hopefully you are taking profits along the way. But as of now, everything on the chart looks bullish. Uh, as long as you hold this up here, especially if you hold this box up here, you're extremely bullish. If you pull back down to 40 and bounce, uh, I would say you're still really bullish there. So from where you are right now, you could still drop 17%. Uh, and tag 40 and then bounce or accumulate and then move higher at some point. Uh, but as long as you have these moving averages curling up like this and moving, you're going to find support like you did here, here, back here. And they're just going to keep pushing the price higher. So RSI is curled down at the moment. MACD, you can see a huge gap. It looks extremely bullish there. A lot of momentum on Pendle. And lastly, looking at the Haikanashi candles, printing green and no shadow so it still has a strong trend to the upside and it has some momentum at the moment let's switch over and look at the three day really quick here with this large candle we're going to go ahead and take off the 200 day moving average bring up our stock rsi and see where the momentum is uh we just had a bounce on the bottom here and it's moving up toward that 50 line so it looks good i mean it has the momentum so hopefully you guys take profit when you can uh, it may go to the moon and it may get stuck and it may start going to zero So just kind of watch all these prices here watch 50 to 60 and then ultimately 60 to 68 to 70 cents And once you get over that to the moon she goes on Pendle. So we'll leave it at that not financial advice. Thanks for watching everyone Peace out